Hey, welcome to another Key Masters episode. I'm Sven Ryla, the host, and we've got Tomas Gustafsson again with us, the Chief PKI Officer of Key Factor. And today's topic, we want to discuss CA hierarchy and what's really the strategy you need for that. Do I need one, two, or three CAs? Like, what, what do you think? Why don't, we, why don't we start with one? Why, why would I use one CA? Yeah, you're talking about the uh, depth, right? Or yeah. what you call the hierarchy. Hierarchy. Depth of the hierarchy. Exactly. Like the root CA, and maybe they call it an intermediate CA. I like to call uh, it a policy CA. Yeah, or policy CA. That's a classic name. And then the issuing CA, right? Yes. And the issuing CA is the one that issues all the thousands or, or millions we call or billions leaf of certs too leaf certs yeah, yeah that's the buzzword i'm seeing around now other people ask me what's a leaf cert and i'm like that's just an end entity <laughs> but yeah why why would we use one ca what, what would a use case be for that it's easy right uh, that's what i of course when i do my testing in NUBC, i just create a ca and uh, maybe with a post quantum algorithm to see how good it works and then i start issuing end entity certificate from that i mean the, it's a no-brainer well, I've also seen it used, though, in uh, places where you're on an island in a network, right, where you're uh, literally on a detached island, maybe classified network or something like that, where they, you know, they need PKI for the trust, but it doesn't really make sense to have a hierarchy there. Yeah. You know, they're just self-issuing. Everything stays on the island. Yeah, I guess it goes against the uh, original. Our traditions you know, of what we've done. Uh, <laughs> you know, original, traditional PKI design or call it what you want, where there should be a root a policy and a issuing, right? But as oh. you say, that uh, complicates things. So uh, if yeah, you I'm want to keep things... If I'm, we don't have I'm, to be. Yeah. I'm a big fan of the KISS principle, which I hope everyone knows, so I don't have to say bad words here. Wait, you mean keep it simple, Sven? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's excellent. Keep it, I am a big fan of keep it simple, Sven principle. And uh, <laughs> one CA is uh, very simple. And... Uh, the downside is that uh, you have to keep it online, right? When you issue leave yes. certificates, it has to be online. And when you issue CRLs or revoke something, it needs to be online, which kind of which is why not ideal. Yeah. Definitely or, not ideal. To, I guess for security reasons. That's the only reason, or that's the reason why you want to have a separate root CA which is offline, isn't it? Or air gapped, which is kind of the uh, uh, more modern and quite which I guess appropriate term. Drive us into the next way when we have, I would say, the pretty traditional de facto, a two tier where we have a root, most likely offline. I've only run into one case where I've ever had an online one, yeah. and then a <laughs> uh, issuing CA. So that I guess that's pretty our de facto. Would you, yeah, definitely our go to. And if you don't have a plan, that would be the plan to go that way. Yeah, exactly. We don't want to. There's so much that depends in the PKI world. So we all will say, you know, for every. Seemingly simple question, we say that depends, but yeah, we want to try to be a bit more helpful. So yeah, if you don't know, definitely a two uh, level hierarchy is, I would say, the way to go. And then uh, the three tier, what are your thoughts on that? That's, uh, my thoughts have usually been that it's overly complex for most use cases actually that we see out there now most modern use cases you think three is complicate things in uh, just yeah just makes it more complicated without uh, a lot of benefit so then what is actually the benefit of having this intermediate policy ca the only thing that i've really seen on that is from Customers that need to operate their PKI in uh, geographical areas due to uh, policy in that state. Like, let's say they need a one to operate that stays in Asia, so they have to keep the chain in Asia. But then they may have a route there, but they have different countries now they operate in, so they'd have a policy CA that way, local to the different subordinates or the issuing CAs they'd run in country. So if they were doing manufacturing, for instance, they might have a Asian route with the policy CAs like say Vietnam or Japan or China and have issuing CAs off of that. Or then they've got some in Europe and then the US and South America. It's really been more of a global strategy that I've seen and it does get really complicated. But then looking at it, I didn't really see any other way they could do this because of the policies that they were having to operate or abide by. 
right yeah it kind of scales down uh, and you can limit things on that intermediate uh, that affects all the issuing CAs especially yeah that like if your organization have strict control of the root maybe and the intermediate or the policy CAs right they don't have to have strict control over the issuing CAs they can still limit those uh, through the policy CA or what they can do that's true so also like organizational structure and where you can leverage control so yeah I, I guess, guess that's an important uh, part right so I guess really the moral of the story is for our wrap up that if you don't have a plan definitely just stick with two it's okay to have a single CA for a test environment. And if you really need to go that complicated due to where you're operating, you could consider a three tier, but otherwise everything else. Yeah. Well, I think we mentioned like, it's okay with one if you're on a on isolated, the island, yeah. way, if you're on your island, because then, you know, if you're compromised because the root CA is online, you can, you know, just tear down everything and burn it and then start over from scratch. It's not a problem <laughs> if you don't have any other people uh, that's relying on your root CA. That was a good point. So yeah, that, that, that sums it up. So thanks for attending our episode today and we'll see you in the next Key Masters episode.